Hey, what is up? So we're back with Alan Wake 2. Uh, DLC just dropped. Uh, it's called Night Springs. It says Night Springs episodes are now to play. Blah blah blah. Experience the surreal strangeness of the Night Springs TV show and three episodic adventures that transform the familiar into the bizarre. Um, not really much to say. Let's just get right into it. I've been waiting. I've been waiting. So there's gonna be three episodes. Nice. So I'm assuming this one is uh, for Rose, because there was the trailer and everything. The North Star is uh, Jesse. Uh, spoilers, sorry. <laughs> uh, and Time Breaker for uh, Tim Breaker, <laughs> the uh, sheriff, aka dude from Quantum Break. Uh, let's do number one fan. We'll, we'll do them in order. Uh, loading into the expansion from the menu, you'll overwrite your progress in existing expansion. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's see what all this craziness is about to be. This is like what if scenarios if I heard a uh, Mr. Max Payne right. A fan. The dictionary definition of the word is an enthusiast, a fervent devotee, an abbreviation of fanatic. What comes across to an outsider as a dangerous obsession or even madness is something entirely different from the point of view of the fan herself. To be a fan is a joyous existence, one filled with the happiness that stems from knowing with utter clarity the purpose of your life. But what if that purpose could be more still? If you could be lifted out of the flock as your idol's chosen one, the only one who could decipher his secret messages, What lengths would you go to save the object of your obsession in Night Springs? I have a big smile on my face right now. Tonight's cult classic episode, number one fan. I, I love the way they're doing this. This whole world's love, lovey dovey and everything. Pink, flowers. And there's our queen. Life's a funny thing. You spend all your time wishing and hoping and dreaming for something. And then, bam! Destiny shows up at your door like a mailman with a package you were pretty sure got lost because you ordered it like six months ago. But that's okay. When your destiny has eyes like sunsets and a beard like mahogany-colored velvet, you don't really mind how it arrives. But my day didn't start off with all that excitement. It began like any other day did for this waitress slash protector of the town of Night Springs. As always, Night's Diner was the hottest spot in town, so there was plenty of work to do. Rose is the kind of person to say cutie patootie. I swear she'll say it at some point. Anyways, uh, yeah, so Rose simping right now. Let's go. Storage room. Hmm. Live here. Hey, it's everyone's favorite waitress. Look who it is. Hi, everyone. Could I get another cup of that delicious special brew that only you know how to make? Of course. Who else wants a top up? Me. Right here, please. One for me, please, and thank you. Will do. Let me just grab a fresh pot. I have a thought right now. So these Night Spring episode, episodes expansion. During that time where uh, spoilers for Endgame of uh, Alan Wake two, uh, Wake went into that world where they celebrated his book, whatever that was. What if we're in that part right now? But everybody just has their own version of what's going on. 
in their whatever dream world or whatever. Anyways, let's make coffee. The pie here is let's just look around first. See if you see anybody. People hanging outside. Oops, <laughs> wrong way. Oh, I can't believe I left my hat at home. Provide coffee refills. Who wanted it? Raise your hands. Here's you. Here's your coffee. How do you juggle running this diner, your bird sanctuary, and that amazing fan site for the writer you love so much? I work extremely hard, but also, I'm naturally talented. <sighs> well, heck, no wonder us regular folks can't keep up. I'll never be as successful as you. You won't be with that attitude. Life's not a side order of hash browns, so don't expect someone to bring it to you. Wow. That's tough, but fair. Thank you for telling me exactly what I needed to hear. No problem. And you? Here you go. A person of your genius and grace is wasted serving coffee to us regular Joes and Joannes. Oh, I don't mind. Nothing else? Okay. And then you and you. Okay. Hot coffee. I heard your fan site for that rider was named best fan site in the world. Congratulations. Thanks. It wasn't easy. Another cup. I would kill to have a passion like you do for that writer of yours. You two are destined for each other. <laughs> we sure are. That's everyone's coffee. Better put this pot back. Anyone need advice? I got some left. No one? Okay. I loved being the very successful owner and operator of the county's most popular diner. But that was nothing compared to my grease fire of passion for the writer and his sheer literary talent and flowing hair and lips like buttery pie crust. Pie! I need to clear the empty pie plates from the tables! Shucks! I was afraid she was going to go further with that. Describe everything. Ryder lives just outside town in that mansion of his. Why don't you go talk to him? <laughs> oh, we have our own ways of talking. She talks and he doesn't listen. I saw in the news that you saved every single kitten from that bear attack. Amazing. Thanks. Those yoga lessons really paid off. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Is Knight's Diner going to enter the statewide pie competition this year? Of course! We're gonna make this our 20th win in a row! My date last night was a total bust. You're the expert on romance. Any advice? Those plates won't clear themselves. <laughs> yes. But first, tell me everything. Long story short, she told me I dressed like a divorced gym teacher. But it's what's inside that matters, right? I kind of agree with her. Oh, you still have to put in some effort. <laughs> if you don't have a jacket with elbow oh, patches... Never mind. <laughs> Forget my advice. Elbow patches? Oh, got it. Thanks a million. <laughs> don't mention it. She just wants to rip those elbow patches right off. I better take these plates back to the service window. 
Who works back here? I never see anyone here. Excuse me. Can I borrow you? Weird way to put it. What can I get you? Oh. <laughs> I need a good book recommendation. After all, you're the town's literature buff. <gasps> oh, you have got to read the newest book in the writer's crime trilogy. <sighs> I'll grab you a coffee from the back. Oh. No time for that. I've got customers waiting. Beat Poetry Night at Night Steiner for the literary advancement of Night Springs. Employee of the decade in recognition of basically being the best at like everything presented to everyone's favorite waitress. Oh God. <laughs> Look at this. Yo. Oh man. He better not crease any pages. She can do it. Thank you so much for taking in my six macaws. I know you have your hands full with all the other sick birds at your bird sanctuary, but if anyone can find a cure for their rare bird lupus, it's you. Yours truly, a young girl who wants to be you someday. The only thing that hurts more than loving, the only thing that hurts more than love is loving again. Love will hurt by America's best-selling writer. Death comes for everyone. That doesn't mean it's painless. Death will hurt. Oh, these are the books. Man's life is rip away. He's out to get justice and the whole city will hurt. Wait, is that the c character of the book's name? Will hurt? Okay. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Da, da. Oh, God. Your favorite writer whose voice you would recognize in your sleep. I'm in danger. Please, my number one fan, you're the only one who can save me! Oh, oh my gosh! Don't worry, I'm on my way! My beloved writer was in terrible danger, and I had to rescue him. The stakes had never been higher. Luckily, I kept all my accessories in the diner's kitchen. It's about to get weird from here. The first time we could go back here, ever. Like, ever, ever, I think. Unless you could go back in the uh, Alan Wake DLC, the original. My accessories. Oh my god. Everything a girl needed to claim victory in the battle for love. Do the cops know you have this, Rose? I think the cops should know you have this. I always thought this door led outside. I'm kind of shocked right now. Not gonna lie. All right. Uh, stock up. My trusty 12 gauge, fully automatic. Extreme circumstances call for extreme shotguns. My bolt action hunting rifle with a gorgeous walnut stock. Deadly and looks good doing it. <laughs> Just like me. Uh-huh. I was finally ready for a night out on the town. With danger. Oh my god. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. The boatyard is this way! You better hurry! Go through the boatyard! It's the shortest road! This was my moment, my chance to save the writer and make him realize how much he needed me. And if that's not love, I don't know what is. We'll run the diner while you're gone, but we'll be way worse at it. <laughs> Tell him we all love his books. <laughs> one waitress plus one writer equals forever. I was leaving my old life behind. Like a body left to sink in a lake so no one finds it. Nothing would get between me and my future with the writer. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it's locked. There you go. Already, this is just making me I have a big smile on my face. I'm loving this. Can't wait for the other episodes. <laughs> All right, let's go. Uh, let's go meet our love. I'm coming, Alan. Phrasing. Now, who the heck is that? I knew you'd come to his rescue. Oh, is that a uh, scratch? Who are you? like a slightly less handsome version of my writer. Oh, don't you ever compare me to that worthless hack. Sure, I may be his wild and rebellious estranged twin brother, but we can't all be perfect. I had no idea he had a brother. To think there were two of him all this time. After today, there won't be. No more writer, no more books, no more living in his shadow. You're his brother! I'm sure you two can talk it out and realize you have so much in common, and after you change, you can move in together. And I'll come over with popcorn for movie nights! Uh-huh. He had his chance for popcorn and movie nights, but he wanted to keep everything for himself. Too bad. You know what they say? If you can't join him, beat him. What did you do to him? I locked Mr. Fancy Pants up somewhere you'll never find him. You won't get away with this! I'll stop you! Babe, I got an army of people that hate that hack almost as much as I do. They're ready to die if it stops him from writing another crappy book. What do you got? I have a shotgun! Well, I got a... <laughs> Wait, is that... That's a real shotgun? Yeah. Okay, I admit that's a... I, I and a rifle. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter. Oh my god. You can't stop all his voice. This. Oh, what the hell? Only a monster could be blind to the poignance of my writer's books. And there is only one way to deal with monsters. I forgot how to play. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Forget it, am I playing this on hard? <laughs> Alright, got everything, got everything. Let's look around a bit. 
Uh, I don't have a menu. I just have this. Oh, here we go. More shotgun shells. My writer's jerky twin had him locked up somewhere. Like a sweet, helpless prince locked in a tower. But his fan in shining armor was on her way. Luckily, one of those haters had made a hole in the fence for me. I got a ton of bullets, goddamn. Rose was packing. Thank you, thank you. Anything over here? Oh, jeez. Oh. Bye. Ooh. Oh. What's happening? Oh, there's one guy over there. Okay, we are all set. Let's get the heck out of here. The twins' motorcycle had left tracks in the mud. I recognized the tread pattern immediately, thanks to my famously keen perception. And the fire. The tracks would lead me right to my rider and his kidnapper. I felt like the detective from my rider's books, solving the case with my wits. All I needed now was an unlimited supply of black coffee and crippling emotional trauma caused by the untimely death of my spouse. Poor Rose. She's been through a lot. <laughs> More haters! Writer, 
hadn't my writer ever told me he had a semi-evil twin brother? <sighs> he must be waiting until our third or fourth date, surrounded by candles, so he could reveal this vulnerable chapter from the dramatic story of his emotionally troubled past. <sighs> oh, that man has more layers than a croissant. And she loves peeling them. Oh, there's a car. Old rusted up car. I couldn't let these monsters continue to plague my dear writer with their negativity. I would treat them the same way I treat trolls on my fan site. Ban them. But this time, I was banning them from life. <laughs> What's this? All the tears of all the angels in heaven were falling over the city. She wore the rain like a funeral shroud. She had she was in a sad she was in sad state. The city of mine, but she was still mine. The filthy prison I called home. I was here for a reason. Joe Bullets Capone. He was inside drinking champagne and throwing around his dirty money while I stood in the rain smoking a soggy cigarette. But that didn't matter. The only thing that mattered was I knew bullets had bad I knew bullets had a bad night coming his way, and he had no clue. He made me wait for it though. My pack of cigarettes was long gone by the time bullets staggered out the back door. I detached myself from the shadows, stepped up right beside that pathetic excuse for a man. Long time, Joe. Bullets looked up, his booze soaked grin twisted into something less friendly. You He reached for his pistol under his jacket, a six shooter with slugs big as my cigarette stubs. I've done my homework. He barely had the piece of of his holster before I was on him. I wrestled it out of his hands, tossed it behind a dumpster. Bullets didn't like that. It gave me one right in the gut. Wind rushed out of my lungs like a soul leaving a body. Through my wheezing, I could make out the slap of boots against water. Bullets was legging it. I had to get after him. Couldn't lose him. Not when I was so close. He had info I needed. The address of the last stop for his train called Revenge. So I sucked in whatever air I could and took off after him. Uh, through the twisting maze of the uh, through the twisting maze of alleyways, two rats, but only one cheese. I pulled out my revolver. I was playing for keeps. Don't make this hard, Joe. I caught up to him as he was dropping down the other side of a chain link fence. He sneered, teeth like rows of gray tombstones. He thought he was escaping. He thought he was safe. My body slammed the fence like a bird against the window. I clutched the thin metal sc uh, scrambled metal scrambled over it. The jagged edges of wire ripping through my sleeves of my leather coat and biting into my skin. The pain was welcome. I dropped down into the alley and ran like a panther. Uh, at every blind corner, I expected trash can lighted to the face. None came. Maybe bullets had liked what he saw in my eyes. Hadn't liked what he saw in my eyes as I climbed that fence. Bet he wasn't smiling now. Then I had him—a trapped rat, a uh, trapped rat trying and failing to wrench a locked door off its hinges. I leveled my gut at him. You know what I want, Joe? Bullets let go of the door handle. Hands, hands is up as they'd go, uh, beseeching a higher power not to cast them down. Come on, man, I ain't gonna bring your wife back. Come on, man, I ain't gonna bring your wife back. Can't hurt to try. Talk. Yeah, yeah, sure thing, sure. Bullets lunged for his ankle, a crack of lightning from my hand, and he was down in the gutter, clutching his belly. I walked over, calm as snow. I stood over and watched his putrid blood mingle with the rivers of rainwater. You talk, I call an ambulance. His words were a hard time getting through the pain. You're insane, man. You're insane. Uh, I raised my gun level to his eyes. Try again. Okay, okay. Uh, you want the big man yet? I know where you can find him. Blood pounded in my ears like war drums. All the killing, the sleepless nights, the booze, the countless cigarettes. I smoked while ghosts swirled around me. It was all for this. The drums got louder. Bullets caught his breath, straining against pain. Then he spilled his guts. My number one fan. If I don't make it, then I just want you to know that. No, I can't say it. Curse my crippling, sensitive, artistic nature. I left the alley, told the waiter on the curb that a guy had been shot. Didn't care what he did with the information. I, I had what I needed. I'm guessing that's uh, from one of the books that she had. Will Hurt.
The motorcycle tracks ended at a cabin. Was my rider inside? Hello? Isn't anyone gonna rescue this poor little rider? Hello? Is anybody there? I'm just a frail rider and I require aid. <gasps> He's inside! We can finally be together and sit through beat poetry readings and drink $18 cocktails and have high tea with the queen. Wait a minute. My rider only drinks coffee. Two sugars, no milk. I keep all the mugs. Okay. No more tricks. I'll be waiting upstairs. Muscles don't cry, they sweat. Life is not unlike a highway. Running with wolves seems like a dangerous hobby. Everything you need to know to lead your wolf pack like a true alpha. Hold on. Hello, dear. I guess riding doesn't run in the family. Brothers, the moon can only shine when the sun is gone. The night can only come when the day is got done. Can the sea ever meet the ocean? Where are you? I was never upstairs. I lied when I said there were no more tricks. You're starting to peeve me off, mister. <laughs> Where is my writer? I'm just having a little fun. Let's chat down at the beach. It's just out the back. First, he kidnaps my writer. Then he calls him a tea drinker. He had crossed the line. I was going to go to that beach and give this jerk the scolding of a lifetime. Torture ideas for hack brother. Car battery, solid potential. Pulling fingernails, too messy. The bell, where do I get a bell? One spoon, nice and simple. Dismantle typewriters, A plus psychological damage. Gasoline fire, fire might burn the cabin down. Maybe over overcomplicating this. The nail. I'll go with the nails just because I hate it. Said he was down at the beach. Like, that's one thing I always cringe at. Pulling nails off. Ugh. There he is. Hey, me and my bike were just enjoying the view. Where is my rider? What do you even see in that crybaby? He's boring, he dresses like a nerd. Hush your mouth! <laughs> he is a stylish intellectual who is in touch with his feelings. You're starting to cramp my style, babe. And I'm not telling you where he is. You are going to tell me where he is, or else. Or else what, babe? You asked for it. 
You are rude, you have no manners, your too cool to care attitude is attractive initially, but drives people away after they realize you're emotionally incapable of letting your walls down to reveal that you are a vulnerable human being just like everybody else. You are trying way too hard with that outfit. You no, stop! I don't like being seen! <laughs> Listen, I never had oh my your God. precious writer. I was just keeping you distracted while my army of haters storms his mansion. Now the love of your life is doomed. Doomed! <laughs> no! He tricked me. Even with my famously keen perception. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, sir, sir, calm down. I knew you, my number one fan, would never fall victim to my twisted brother's lies. His hatred for me is as inexplicable as the sunrise, and just as fiery. But I knew your heart would never waver. You're the only one who can save me. I believe in you. chain and that spiky wheel thing the chain fits into we were connected by love and destiny he was meant to be mine always and forever there was no time to lose i was the only one who could save the writer and the very soul of literature from these evil haters the fate of all art rested on my shoulders the stakes had never been higher
Okay, so I, I'm thinking. So going back to uh, spoilers, Alan Wake 2 ending. Uh, when he's running from everybody, he runs into the uh, the uh, old folks' home, uh, and that's where Rose saves him. So I'm thinking that's where this is going to end. So I believe right now these maybe all these episodes will take place when everyone was in the dark place in uh bright falls but how do we get to the mansion kind of lost stop your dilly dallying my writer is in danger okay over here my bad there it is I'll talk to the bad boy. If I have to stop you myself, I will. Unlike him, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. Oh, I'm alive. No thanks. I just realized these are hearts. Where is he? There he is. Oh. He is out. Hold on. Hmm. 
going to kill you? You're my darling writer's brother. You really do love him, huh? I guess I never even had a chance. I was just jealous of his talent, his money, his velvety hair, but mostly that he's got the love of somebody as amazing as you. Oh, you silly werewolf. You could have all those things too. You just need to stop wanting to be him and start wanting to be you. Your words have shown me that it wasn't my brother I hated. It was myself. Oh, what have I done? Those haters will tear him apart and it's all my fault. Please, go save him. Oh, I intend to. Oh, jeez. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> that writer isn't going to kiss himself. I mean, save himself. Uh huh. Uh huh. Rose. Uh huh. What is this? Ideas for next book: inventive murder, inventive murder weapon, stapler, lawn, gnome, swordfish, philosophy, uh, escalate the crime, plunge the depths of human humanity's darkness, and murder religion. Here's motivation, a rival private eye, his wife returns from the dead, only to be killed the second time. Too much? Not enough? A waitress character who is intelligent, sophisticated, and good with a weapon smells like cinnamon and gunpowder. <laughs> on this one? Hair, beard, reg re regimen, twice a week. Wash thoroughly with cold water. Gentle pat dry with the high thread count towel. Brush three times with honeycomb. 
Thought locally at the farmer's market. Apply shampoo to dry hair. Time to admire my rider's taste and decor. Uh, rinse with cold water. Gently pat dry with high thread count towel. Condition often. General rules, never wear hats. Once a month, rub three mixed eggs. Bought locally at farmer's market. Into damp hair, scalp, and beard. Avoid chlorine, heat, and inexperienced barbers. And here's the spiral. It's not a loop. And there he was. After all the fighting, we were finally alone. Together. Our love was written in the stars. And so we danced like two spinning planets that would eventually crash into each other in a dazzling display of flames and rocks and other planet stuff. He told me all the sweet things I'd been waiting a lifetime to hear. I saw myself reflected in his eyes. I would always be at his side to inspire oh, oh no. <laughs> and protect him. He needed me now and forever. After all, I am his number one fan. Oh man, Rose. Oh, that's the ending. <laughs> a fan and the object of her joy come together against a world trying to keep them apart. A happy ending for some. But his happiness, like beauty, all in the eye of the beholder. Where is the line between fandom and fixation? One can never tell in Night Springs. Love always wins. Oh my god, yes. Let's listen to this for a bit. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, episode two. All right, we are going straight into episode two, which I assume is for uh, Jesse from Control. Let's get right into it. Young woman on a mission to save a missing loved one. Desperately trying to stay one step ahead of the shadowy government agents hunting her. Agents from the very same agency 
that took the only person she cares about. On her quest, she is guided by her mysterious alien guardian angel. Her guiding star shows her the way, as it always has. She does not know what strangeness awaits her as she follows its unwavering light to the small town of Night Springs. Tonight's dreamlike episode, North Star. This is gonna get strange. There's no helping it. The universe is much deeper and weirder than people know. My brother and I know. We've seen it. We've seen you. But there are some people, an agency, that doesn't want anyone knowing more than what they see. That's why they took my brother and have been chasing me my whole life. But I can't keep running. It's Jesse. Let's go. We got Jesse from Control. Okay, so I've played Control probably two, three times. Uh, PS4 got the platinum for it. Got it on PS5. Got the platinum for it. So just had fun with it again. Then played the DLC with the Alan Wake and the other ones. I love Control. Control's great. And it's just awesome to see her here. And the little... Uh, the little, uh, little appearance she had in the uh, main game. I love all that stuff. Oh, I played the final draft also for uh, Alan Wake, and there was a bit of extra stuff there with uh, Darling, and I think it was mostly Darling that had the extra stuff. Plus the ending as well. Alright, I guess uh, let's go to Coffee World. Need a code. Thanks, Polaris. You think something here's important? What, the numbers? 238. Oh, I guess... I guess let's try 238. I've never been able to track down the government agency that took my brother. Until now. You helped me find this place. Now you'll help me get him back. Right? Hello? Is anybody here? So this is, well, this is a what-if scenario, but this is before she found uh, the FPC. So we don't have the, uh, the gun, the weapon. So we have no special powers. A roasting bar. This place really makes me want a coffee. But I guess that's the point. What the fuck are those? Need a welcome center. Try a cup of dark triangle. No tape. I don't have time to sit around watching movies anyway. Wake up. The gazebo? You think there's something there? Oh, Tim, what's up? Ma'am, here. Get inside the light. Oh, they don't like the light. You shouldn't be here. How did you even get inside? Shit, a cop. 
Should I lie? I kind of let myself in. You got more than you bargained for, huh? What's going on here? What are those shadow people? Well, that's what I'm here trying to figure out. The government's been putting something in the coffee. <laughs> Turning people into coffee monsters. The government. Is this the same government agency that's been chasing me all these years? Something in the coffee is doing this? Really? It took me a while to wrap my head around it, too. At first, I thought... Well, I don't know what I thought. But now it's clear. This is deep state science. I'm... Looking for someone. My brother. Have you seen anybody? Only if you count those monsters. I'm sorry, ma'am. They've been abducting people from Night Springs, too. I'm here to get them back home. But now it's time you left. It's not safe here. I'm not going anywhere until I find my brother. I respect that. There's a warehouse just past the park. It's locked up tight, has some fancy government security system, but the intercom is busted. I figure that's where they're keeping our missing folks. There's a, a spare pistol and flashlight on the bench. I'd feel better if you took them. Those monsters don't do well with light. And whatever you do, do not drink the coffee. Sure thing, Tim. Missing person, Jacob uh, Flemsen, 52, last seen hiking at Ninth Springs National Park. On 18th September, the reporting party advised that their, her partner, Jacob Flemsen, was lost, a last seen leaving for Ninth Springs National Park at approximately 11.30 a.m. Flemsen was wearing a dark shirt with a rock band logo, flannel over shirt, navy jeans. If found, please contact Ninth Springs Sheriff Department. Please be aware there will be some changes due to need management. Starting immediately, Coffee World will only open at night. This will allow us to draw in new customers. All staff should be pushing our brand new Dark as the Void blend. On that note, tomorrow we'll have a special tasting party for staff. Attendance is mandatory. Please bring your friends. Uh, Dark Triangle Coffee proudly presents Night Under the Stars. The nights may be cold, but the coffee is hot. The, this week, Coffee World will only be open at night. Bring your family, friends, children, anyone. Uh, you know, for the fun under the stars, join us. Join the percolation. Totally not a cult. This should make things easier. Gun gun. Let's check out that warehouse the sheriff mentioned. You still with me? Good to hear.
probably shouldn't drink any strange coffee. Better not. Sheriff said not to drink this stuff. Probably shouldn't drink any strange coffee. Better not. Sheriff said not to drink this stuff. Better not. Okay, just... Just checking to see what will happen if I press it a bunch of times. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> This game could do all that. Holy crap. All right. This must be the warehouse, but how do I get inside?
Hi, uh, I need to get inside. Please insert passkey. Sorry, I lost it. Please insert passkey. Oh, fucking machine. Passkey invalid. Do you submit to security questions for authorization? Sure. What's the question? Please recite the fourth word of Dark Triangle Coffee's mission statement. I've seen an oh, article. Crap. Don't have that. What kind of question is that? That is incorrect. <laughs> Just let me inside the fucking building. <laughs> All right. I uh, guess we gotta find the tape, or we can just climb over this. We need to find that orientation video. Polaris, you got any idea where it is? Probably ask Tim if he knows anything. Okay, so this is where we get the code from for this. Dark Triangle Coffee has an optimal roasting temperature of which is greater than the sum of our triangle. It's three sides, right? The first digit of our optimal roasting temperature is half of the second and ha is half of the second and third digit is one less than the one before. So one, so three, six, five. Oh, dumb, dummy days in the <laughs> three, six, five. I could have just read the last one. Am I being dumb? I think I'm being dumb. So it's more than 180. Okay. Reset. So it's greater than the sum of our triangle, which is 180. So greater than 180. The first of our digit, the first digit of our optimal roasting temperature is half the second. And the third digit is one less than the one before. Optimal roasting temperature for dark triangle coffee is below 500 degrees Fahrenheit. 500 is also the number of light years between Earth and Planet X. More than 180. First number, half of the second. Oh, wait. Four, eight, seven. There we go. What did that do? I'm confuzzled. I have no idea what happened. Tim. Hey, well, I'm glad to 
see you're okay. The security system wants some kind of password to get into the warehouse. So you got it working. I wonder why it wouldn't turn on for me. What did it ask for, exactly? It asked for the fourth word of the Dark Triangle Coffee mission statement. Any idea what that is? Of course, it wants you to watch the video. The info you're after is on a videotape, but it is chock full of government brainwashing. I watched a bit of it. It was doing something to me. It's dangerous. You can't watch that tape. I need that videotape, Sheriff. Well, this is exactly how they get you. But fine. If you really want it, I hid it in the Ferris wheel, cup number four. You'll need this key. Don't say I didn't warn you. Thank you kindly, Sheriff. For a movie? Triangle Coffee is a fast-growing company with ambitions to sweep the nation, and eventually, the globe. With our out-of-this-world beverages. Drawn by our coffee's distinctive flavor and our unique beans, people are rushing to join the Dark Triangle Movement. The company's mission God. statement is simple. To drink so the not truth subtle. There. To That's what we need. Drink the truth is to become Password one. is truth. Now we can go uh -oh. What is... Something is... Something is... Oh, in my head. Please, you need to... Drink. No, no, please, boy. You stopped it. Oh, that was awful. Like a voice screaming in my head. But we got what we needed. 
The fourth word of the mission statement. Truth. Let's get back to that warehouse. That video was doing something to me. If you hadn't been there, what would have happened? What is this agency trying to do here? Control people? But why? What's their plan? What if my brother has already been... No. I didn't come all this way to lose him now. And eighty seven. Dude, oh, come on. Oh, man. I tried the coffee. You are not coffee. Try the coffee. Worth a shot. Try the coffee. That's going to be a problem. Well, we're getting peer pressured. But I can't stop now. Let's go. You'll keep me safe. Right? I've loitered in enough coffee shops to recognize a roasting machine. Let's check this out. Okay, so we already solved this. Don't need it. Guess we go to the coffee up there. goes nothing. I'm trusting you. Huh. That wasn't so... <gasps> Oh, Jesus. What's going on? Tim? Tim A. Are you alright, Sheriff? I heard gunshots. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I was looking for you when one of those things jumped me. Got a little bit of coffee in my mouth, but I spit it out. Should be fine. But listen, I figured something out. What did you figure out? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, it's nothing. Those government bastards will never get me. <laughs> but it, it's not just the government. There's something else here. I, I don't know what it is, but it's... You need to get your brother and get out of here as soon as you can. Promise me. Yeah. I promise, Sheriff. Good. That's good. I'm just gonna catch my breath here a minute. I'm... <sighs> Stay cool, Sheriff. I'm already gone. You're talking to no one. Try the coffee. I 
tried the coffee. Crap. Flashlight's not a weapon. Thank you. Coffee mascots are strong. is safe as they say desire that the doors to him is locked and the key is on my former desk hidden behind the coffee bags uh I completed my purpose my time has come for join me the further protocolation i'm trying to read fast The inner door as they instructed, no one will get past me without the blessing. I must hide the key. My final task, perhaps, on my desk near the entrance, is a farewell to my old life. A key, probably worth holding on to. There we go. I've done their bidding, packaged their coffee, and bought the people to Coffee World to share their blessing. They say I am almost ready. Oh. Oh no. He's them. Sheriff? Sheriff? How'd you get in here? Coffee time. It's the it's best, best part of the day. Hey! Snap out of it! Coffee solves all your problems. It lowers heart disease and leads to higher life expectancy. Fuck! I'm so sorry, Sheriff. Oh, this is a nightmare. I need to find my brother. He has to be okay. Dude. What the hell? Right. Have you ever seen anything like this? No.
ever meant. It's your brother? Or it's you? It's Alan Wake. Oh shit, what the hell? I would like to tell you about a dream I had. These are all the collectibles from the first Alan Wake. Cool. A conspiracy within a conspiracy. How can one expose a lie when the truth exists beyond our wildest imagination. Who can ever truly know how deep the rabbit hole goes in Night Springs? Okay, it's the same song. I was hoping for a different song, but it's still good. Uh, that was episode two. episode two we're going episode one uh, no sorry episode three all right we're gonna get right into episode three which is time breaker we often look back and wonder what if what if the path not taken had in fact been our charted course would we be happier or are we, with our set of choices behind us, the lucky ones? And what if nothing would be different? What if for some of us, our destiny across the endless number of versions of ourselves has been defined and locked beyond any causality of circumstance, beyond the forces in any one reality, but across all realities? For one man, the magnetic pull of destiny is so great it breaks time and space. We join this lone operative, many versions of him, in fact, as he chases his nemesis, a dangerous being known as the master of many worlds, across the multiverse, across the many versions of a city that is always the same, yet always different, in Night Springs. Multiverses, you say? Tonight's reality-bending episode, Timebreaker. If some quantum break type stuff starts happening, I'm gonna freak out. Oh my goodness, what, <laughs> what is this? No matter how many parallel realities I need to brave, how many lives, how many versions of me it takes, I will stop it. 
and I will come back for you. My love. And cut. Everyone, take five. There's the man himself. Was that okay? I mean, I can do more. I can do less. Yes, yes, yes. Sean, I'm really happy. Let's talk. I love your instinct on this, but we can still push this further. Immerse ourselves into this story. Believe in it. Make it crazier, wilder. Ba -ba 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 -da -da -da. <laughs> Speak with the director. So we're playing not as Tim, but as the character, <laughs> as the actor himself, Sean. It's so cool we are making this, Sean. Let's dive in. Hold on. What is this? Poison Pill Entertainment since 1995, Night Spring City. We have plenty to talk about. All right, what do you got to say? You wanted to talk? It's awesome to be doing this with you again, Sam. Sean, it's so good to have you back. We've been dreaming about this for so long, and now finally we are making Okay, this is beyond fourth wall. Game. It's happening. Yeah, and FMV as well. That's so cool. Of course. That was part of the previous game as well. I'm talking about Quantum Break. <laughs> uh, I love this. I'd like to talk about my character, just get deeper into the lore. Hey, I could talk about this for days. He's a multiversal agent, goes by many names as there are many versions of him. Breaker, Branch, others. He's searching for his lost love while his ruthless nemesis, Dor, the master of many worlds, is murdering versions of him across parallel realities. He must track down and stop Dor. That's so cool. You've done cool superhero roles in the past. <laughs> Long term, the agent will grow into the ultimate iconic superhero. Oh, that's awesome. About my gadget. So the vortex and the gadget. I Sorry, I keep forgetting its name. There's there's just so many acronyms here. But it helps me travel through realities. Acronyms are cool, right? Like tiny mysteries. You power up your PRS, polyhedron reality shifter with a SEN shifter energy node to activate a Lumi Vista TV and ride the vortex between realities. It's all REC, Ripple Effect Corporation Tech. And you have a gun and a TPS, Time Breaker Solidifier, to defend yourself. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> right, yeah. yeah. You clearly have your own vision um, of the multiverse. The right vision, the truth, it's all out there. That's where these ideas and inspirations come from. They seep true. Somewhere this year, us talking is part of the video game, and another version of you is playing it. Somewhere, your character, the agent, is real, and he could appear here through a portal any time now. Right. Yeah, yeah, right, Sam. <laughs> you are a maniac, man. Totally. Okay. So, um, what do we shoot next? We need to set up for the next scene, where your nemesis pulls you into a parallel reality. You can go to your green room, chill out, learn the lines. I left the latest draft of the screenplay for you there. See you in a bit. Cool. Can't wait. 
go to the green room. Sometimes it's hard to tell if Sam's joking. A deadpan finish humor. And a reputation of being a bit out there. I picked up a weird vibe when he talked about the multiverse. I forget what was his name in a uh, quantum break. Sean here. Played it. It's actually up on the channel. I played it a while ago when it first came out. Oh, what the hell? Hello? What the fuck was that? Hello? Sounded like Alan and a uh, door. Yo. Oh. What the fuck is this? I thought I'd gone mad. Then I realized Sam was playing a crazy prank on me. There's no way this was real. What Time breaker. This? Suddenly psychedelic colored lights flare up through the open doorway. Fierce panic shout. No! Door, this is your end. A loud struggle can be heard from the room. Uh, actor is spooked and disbelieving. What the fuck? Hello? Uh, the actor steps into the room. Body sits against the wall on the floor. Someone has been killed. It's the actor's double. A trail of blood on the wall where he, has, he hit his head. At his feet lies a gun, a sci-fi flashlight, a TBS, and the scepter-like PRS. Uh, what the fuck is this? I thought he. I thought I got mad. Uh, then I realized I was. Oh, uh, we pretty much gone through all this stuff. <laughs> so basically, what happened here? Is that my stunt double, or is that me? I had to admire how real the body and the props looked. Oh, Jesse, what's up? Another one of you, huh? Too late again. Excuse me? <laughs> no, th this is just—it's a prank. It's just a prank. Wait, are you? Shit. You're not Branch. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. What's going on, Jesse? He finally got you. Are, are you cast in this game, too? Listen to me. There are things you need to know. You are in great danger. You must do exactly what I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? Why what am I... Fuck! Yo, I got all this hair. I blanked out and I was suddenly someplace else. Now, I'd had gaps in my memory before. But that's the movie star lifestyle for you. This was something else entirely. I guess I've aged a few years. Jeez, what happened, man? We're, I'm, I'm assuming we're in Night Springs, forest somewhere, aka Bright Falls. The last thing I remembered was the red-headed woman at the door. She looked familiar. She was trying to tell me something and then it went dark. It felt like a dream. <laughs> think, 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 man. I need to get out of here. A psychotic episode? Or... Was the multiverse true after all? Did Sam do this? An elaborate hoax? Off the wall, method acting reality show. It had gone way too far. Okay, okay. Yeah, let's let's go with that. Act like this is true. Okay? I'm an actor. I can do this. And once it's over, we'll have a good laugh. And then I will punch <laughs> Sam in the face. <laughs> Where the hell am I? More multiverse nonsense. But I was committed to play along. Night Spring City Park Parallel Reality Bleed Zone. Cross dimensional anomaly, no trespassing. Authorized rec personnel only. But what had Sam said? I needed to 
find an energy node and use this rod thing with it, the PRS, was it? And look for some kind of TV to get the hell out of here. I wasn't certain this was a prank anymore. I heard a voice in my head. It sounded like me. Insanely, I heard the thoughts of another version of me, the one living here. The trailer was his. I'd check it out. Don't think. Just act. Totally going the wrong way, but okay, yeah, I reached the end. Oh yeah, okay, up here in the trailer. The Luma Vista TV. According to what Sam had said, I needed the energy node. The other me had hidden it away from this trailer. I'm in the spiral at this point, right here, I guess. That's what it means. Still a long ways to go. The uh, the board was mine. Paranoid theories about the multiverse and door. The master of many worlds. The wreck conspiracy don't wipe. Why the acronyms? What are they hiding? Lisa. Elisa, Jesse, Elizabeth, Liz, Savage, Dylan. I hear their thoughts when they die. The redhead the energy woman. node was out there in the forest somewhere. I must find I her was again. Time. I know her. I had to go look for it. Disappeared off the grid and we're connected in our dreams. Am I the chosen one? I must be careful to find a way to break through. Killing us not dead, something worse, broken. Because one of us is the chosen one, who could stop him, replace him? Wreck, Agent Branch, Timebreaker, James S. You are a paranoid nutcase. Who is the master of many worlds? Darling's book, he's pulling the strings, I must hide from him. Door. Door, me, another me, someone else. Who? He who wrote this. String theory, multiverse. Why is he after me? After us, he's coming. Polyhedrons are the key. Okay, got to find a node. Where would a node be? Okay, I have it. It's a, it's a, it's safe. It's a, it's a, it's a, the creek's deep in the forest all the way in the waterfall. It's safe. Waterfall. Get the fuck away from here before door zeroes it on me. I'll make it. I'm the chosen one out of all the versions. Me. Yes. Yes. He's hidden the energy node at the creek in the forest. I have to find it.
Oh god, there it is. That's a note if I've ever seen one. There. Just like in the video game. Oh, damn. Other, other me, no. Oh, there I am. Fuck. Fuck this shit. I thought it was just the plot of the video game. But it was all real. Door. The master of many worlds was murdering versions of the agent, played by me. Versions of myself. Oh. Don't try anything. I've got a gun. It's no hoax. No video game. It's really happening. I was lost in the multiverse. I had to become the role to survive. Be the agent. I had to get back to the trailer and the TV. Use my PRS on it. Dora would be coming for me next. I didn't want to face him. Fuck that. But I couldn't shake the feeling that it was inevitable. Use the PRS, the polyhedron reality shifter on the TV, to get out of here. I felt a strange pull from the vortex on the screen. I was afraid that wherever it would take me, I was going to run into this door person. But I couldn't stay here either. Oh, what? Hold on. I still have a goal to investigate the forest. Should I still do that? Or am I good? All right, never mind. Let's go. Oh, we're in a hotel now. Find a way of the hotel. In black and white. No, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Oh, that changed. <laughs> We're being hunted. Entertainment lobbies 12, Tango lobbies 3, Coffee lobbies 9. I had to find the right version of the lobby in the right time when what I needed was there. 
it's always the right time to visit Night Spring City's Ocean View Hotel. Thanks to our hotel's unique time anomaly, the time is up to you. Did you oversleep? Visit our morning lobby for the never-ending breakfast buffet. Craving one of our delicious signature cocktails? Stop by the 6 o'clock lobby where the cocktail hour is always in full swing. Just follow the clocks to the time of your choice. At the Ocean View Hotel, the right time is the only doorway. Doorway. The right time is the only door. Okay. So it's nine o'clock. That is coffee lobby. Oh, okay. Here are the here are they here they are. So twelve was entertainment. Nine was coffee. What was three? There's no six. I think. The clocks showed the way. They'd guide me through to get what I needed. Okay, you got this. Find another node, another TV. There's no six though, but what if I go through six? Corridors led to the same lobby, but in different times. And different items. Let's go through the entertainment lobby. The same warning sign as before. It made me think the fabric of this place was unraveling. Something to do with door? Okay, entertainment has the TV. To TV. I just needed energy to power it. I couldn't hear the thoughts of the other me, the one native to this reality. Maybe Dor had killed him already. Not a happy thought. No one a poison pill had mentioned they'd made a comic book of their game. But then, maybe Poison Pill didn't even exist in this reality. I was in a comic it. book. Cool. Funny. Ah, uh, I get it. <laughs> uh, thrilling adventures through time and space. I think it's. I. I think he means because he's. We played Iceman. Uh, yeah. Uh, who's your mysterious traveler? Who's our mysterious traveler? All is revealed in the pages of the trippiest collection of science fiction stories on the stands. The Secret of Origin Door includes 3D pullout map of the Ripple Effect Corp Corporation. Oh, REC. The zaniest story we've ever published.
we got so much bullets. Jesus. Alright, let's go to 3 o'clock. Then we'll go to 9 last. Tango lobby. Zarati? It's good to hear Zati voice again. There it is. I used the TV to travel between realities, I was thinking of Dor. And the Vortex brought me here, where the Time Breakers attacked me. This time, a different attack. I thought about the right one. Oh, she knew things. Where's it gonna take if us? I could find my way to her. She could help. I have a thought, but it's probably not gonna happen. Comic page. Something was different. A strange feeling. Still, yet moving. Like frozen snapshots on a sequential path. And yet, thoughts flowing free. Like text read out loud. It's, it's you. I made it. Are we in the oldest house? Door pulled you away. Thought you were gone, for sure. I focused on you when I entered the Vortex. 
I, I was trying to reach you. You are full of surprises. Okay. Let's try this out. I guess this is the quickest way they could have done this. To be in the uh, FPC. Welcome to the headquarters yeah. of the Ripple <laughs> Effect Corporation. We were making a video game of the multiverse, but now it's suddenly real. Real and not real exist side by side in the multiverse. Echoes flow through it like currents in a cosmic ocean, the sea of night. Conceptual, fictional, real, more real than real. Many versions of us all in hidden interaction, linked by the energies that ripple through realities. One of you is killed in an explosion of dangerous energy, and another one instead gains superpowers. And yet another one meets an alien guardian angel. In one reality, we're not even real. Or as you say, characters <laughs> in a video game. Why is he after me? Who is Dor? There are legends about him going back further than we can trace. They say he found an opening to a horrifying parallel reality that consumed him, gave him access to all realities. The feedback loop killing all other versions of him. I am on the... Threshold. No, no. A door everywhere. We don't know why, but he sees the versions of you as a threat. He's killing them, bringing them back as time breakers. We thought he was after Branch. Now I'm thinking he's been after you. Tie your lines. Playing a part. The master of many worlds. We came through the door. All right. What can I do? He must be stopped. He leaves dead realities in his way, and he is only picking up speed. I'm just an actor. You could have fooled me. You travel through realities with greater accuracy than anyone I've ever seen. Beyond door, even. You picked it up just like that. Finding the place that made him may be the key to killing him. That was our theory. But we could never find it. Maybe you can. Is there something between you and Branch? What you think you are feeling is just an echo. Some other version of us in some other lifetime. Maybe. You'll come back for me. <laughs> Maybe. Wish me luck. Luck is just an echo of an event carried over from another reality. I was an REC agent. This was my mission now. I focused on him. The darkness, the entropy, Dor, the master of many worlds. No. I want more. Oh wait, are we getting more? Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo. Okay. We'll see about that. My time breaker will stop you and you will join their ranks. Fuck off!
wow, oh my god. What the? Okay, flash him, shoot him. <laughs> I have a run button, which is X. I don't have a jump. I have to last. <laughs> the noises they make when they die. <laughs> oh boy, way five. Okay, we did it. <laughs> Impressive. Out of all the versions of you might find, be the chosen one. You might be the chosen one. Join me and you'll, it will roll together. No, never! You'll regret this also, I was lying. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> this is wonderful. What now? Oh, the node. can this go now? <laughs> oh, I'm back. Somewhere. The edge of the multiverse. Or some deep, dark trench in it. Everything sucked dry of color and energy. We're in the node. I had to find door. Or the means to travel on. Confront the master of many worlds. Come <sighs> on. 
I was close. I knew I was close now. After dreamless sleep, you come to... Oh, we're doing a text-based. Oh, wow. After dreamless sleep, you come to and gradually become aware of, your, of the utter lack. There is nothing. Focus. You search for something to focus on. An idea of a geometric shape comes to your mind. A, a pentagonal tra trapezoid... Trape... Jesus. Trapezi... Trapezohedron? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how do you know the name of this shape? That you didn't know. That you don't know. You feel yourself fading, drifting apart, losing your essence in the stream of consciousness. The ebbs and flows of your thoughts. Hold yourself together. You fight to hold yourself together, to swim against the current, to break to the surface. Coming to focus, you realize your first impression was wrong. There is something, and there is you. Slowly, you sense the words describing this, describing how it is. Here, it is the farthest reaches of the multiverse. You have reached a reality where only ideas exist. An idea of reality, a, con a conceptual reality, a thought tries to form in your mind. Focus on the thought. You focus on the thought, and it becomes clear. In the beginning, there was the word. Here, only words exist. There are, they are everything. They describe this world and you in it. Decipher the words. The words describe you standing in a barren, conceptual desert. It stretches on to eternity in a place outside time. You wait an immeasurable amount of time above ideas of stars slightly collide and collapse into black holes. With an idea of a desert comes an idea of feeling thirsty. Let's go coffee. As you imagine it, a cup of coffee, your favorite hot beverage, manifests itself. The idea of it. The concept of it, it's delicious and uh, delicious smell and taste. You savor it, you, mad you imagine savoring it. You understand that here, your thoughts are as real as anything. Assess your situation. You realize you could be trapped here forever. Vaguely, you remember that you are on a mission of vital importance. You feel the details of it already dissolving. You must figure out a way to escape before you lose yourself again. When traveling through the vortex, you always had a focal point in mind. Could that be the solution here as well? Focus on the master of many worlds. Focus on the red-headed woman. You think of her, and she is there. You are with her. This version of her knows nothing about the multiverse. Her name is Lisa. She is the dancer. She wears a spiral pendant around her neck. And you feel a, str a strong pull toward her. Thank her for coming back for you. Tell her that you've come back for her. If she doesn't know you, this, this is kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, she thinks it's a pickup line, but it makes her smile. There is an echo of it having been said many times across many realities, and that gives it gravity. Not long after, you are a couple. You, you are head over heels happy, but what you experience in multiverse still haunts you. Forget your past. You pack your REC equipment in a box and take it down to the basement. You run into a janitor with a strong accent and a friendly face. Ati! You find yourself trusting him. He promises to keep the box safe for you. Soon the madness of your adventure across the multiverse starts to seem like a dream. Your life with Lisa is now your reality. Settle down to live your life with her. You return to your acting work, but stay away from video games. You love Lisa, but you don't get spent a lot of time together. You are both busy. She trains hard. She has a big dance production in the works. You can tell she is very tired not doing well. She's having trouble with her ankle. She asks for your advice. Should she cons cancel her new show or push on? Oh, but what if something happens to her, though? I feel like this is going to get sad. Either choice seems like a sad outcome.
Oh, I'm going to advise her to cancel. You advise her to cancel and look after her health. There'll be other shows. She cancels her show disappointed and collapses. She's burnt out. More tired than either of you had realized. She needs to rest. Her ankle will heal. She thanks her for being there for her. But you can tell she is disappointed. I mean, I've, we've given each other enough space. I think I should probably find a way to make her feel happy about this. Or put her in a good mood. You feel you both need a break away from the city? Surprise her with a rented cabin on an island and a breathtaking... Oh, no, 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 stop it. <laughs> you, tell her, tell, you tell yourselves you can rest there. You think you'd be happy here. Tell her you love her. She says she loves you too. The night she wakes... That night she wakes up to a terrible nightmare. She's distressed but eventually calms down in your arms. The nightmare comes every night after that. Her description of the dream is eerily familiar to you. In it, she is aware of the multiverse, the many versions of you and her. Uh, the memories can't come flooding back in her dreams and you are murdered again and again. She doesn't want to sleep anymore. You are worried. Uh, da -da boy. Let's do it. You tell her the truth about the multiverse. Her dreams have felt so real that she immediately believes what you tell her. She is furious at you for keeping this from her. Tell her you forgot it yourself for a long time. She can't believe you forgot. How can anyone possibly forget something like this? You have to wonder yourself. Tell her everything you can remember. From then on, she becomes obsessed with about the multiverse, that she wants to talk about it, determined to learn everything she can. One night, you gasp awake. She is not there. She has left a note. From outside, you can hear her talking with a man with a strong accent. He sounds familiar, even if you can't place it. Run outside. You run outside in time to see a familiar face glow off a Luma, Luma Vista TV. Somehow she has your art PRS, the one you gave to the janitor for safekeeping half a continent away. You call out to her, but she can't hear you in the roar of the vortex between realities, and then she is gone. Hollow, you return inside. Open the note. In her note, she writes that she has gone to find her destiny in the multiverse. Inside the note is her spiral pendant. Pick up her pendant. You pick up her spiral pendant. You realize you've lost your way, forgotten your mission and your goal. You have drifted off course, carried by the currents of your hopes and ideas in this conceptual reality. You are around trying to remember where you were trying to go. What was your mission? You look for it, shifting through your thoughts. It comes to you with a jolt. You were trying to find a way trying to find your way to the master of many worlds there was something about a door focus on the door well that was a big side mission with that a door comes into focus you realize it is missing something ah uh, okay there is now a spiral symbol on the door and with that the door is fully there open the door you open the door step over the threshold you step inside and stand in a room with a man, the master of many worlds, sitting behind a desk, typing, turning concepts and ideas into words, shaping this reality. He lifts his head. Look at the master of many worlds. <clears throat> you stare the man in the eye. With a shock, you realize that you have made a mistake. You have come to the wrong place. The man, this master of many worlds, is not the one you are looking for. He's not Dord. He is something. He's someone else entirely. You want to ask him what he knows, but it's already too late. a case of mistaken identity but in the vastness of the multiverse with an endless number of versions of ourselves what is identity anyway can there be more than one master of many worlds or did our hero take a wrong turn somewhere along the way was this particular journey precisely what was needed to make him the one he was meant to become one thing is certain I am your host the one and only Warland Door. And this is Night Springs. Space Invader, looking cute in 
Alright. That was episode three. I wonder if there's different endings to that. I gotta check. I thought I was getting closer. Things shifted around, and I realized I was further away than ever before. Instead of answers, I only got more questions. The name of the cult and the masks they wore kept changing. The deeper into the dark depths I got, peeling off the layers of this case, like the ocean zones from twilight to midnight to a to the deepest trenches, the closer I felt to going mad. Rest in peace. That just made me sad, man. Um, James McCaffrey, if you don't know, uh, the voice of Max Payne. Rest in peace. All right, that was the Night Springs DLC expansion. Holy crap, I love that. That was great. A few what-if scenarios. Got to play as Jesse after a long-ass time. Love that. Rose is great. W episode 3 was just... They just went all out on that one. <laughs> they just went crazy. Just said, what's the weirdest thing we could do? And they said yes. Um, but there is another expansion coming soon. I don't know when, but it's the Lake House. Uh, so Night Springs what was what-if scenarios. The Lake House... Um, Maybe it's going to be tied to the canon of the story. Maybe something with Jesse. Maybe a uh, freaking Avengers. Uh, everybody's in it. <laughs> Jesse, Alan, Tim, Saga. That'd be cool. But we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah, Night Springs. Wish it was a bit longer, but what I got, I'm just very happy with. Uh, the end credit song is, very <laughs> is, is great. Just any song in this game has been has just been very good. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Be cool, stay safe, have a good day, and see you in the next video.